Xi Jinping's European tour wasn't just a diplomatic visit. It was a masterstroke in global power politics. The world is undergoing a seismic shift in the global balance of power. President Xi Jinping's recent tour of Europe and the deepening China-Russia partnership represent key moments in this transition toward a new multipolar era. As China strengthens economic and diplomatic ties across the continent, offering an alternative to Western dominance, it is also navigating a delicate relationship with Russia amid the Ukrainian conflict. This analysis looks at the importance of this European outreach, the seriousness of the China-Russia alliance, and the impact on the rules and institutions that govern the 21st century world order. Understanding how these major powers interact is crucial as we move into more polycentric geopolitical landscape. President Xi Jinping's recent six-day tour of Europe was his first visit to the continent in nearly five years. His trip took him to France, Serbia and Hungary, where he made it clear that China wants to be a big player in Europe. In Paris, Xi held a trilateral meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. His statement was clear that China's relationship with Europe does not target any third party, nor should it be dependent on or dictated by any third party. Xi directly pushed back on the narrative that China has manufacturing overcapacity, pointing out that Chinese companies have actually helped ease global inflation and contribute to the climate transition. Macron backed Xi up, saying that the European Union won't go along with the idea of decoupling from China. The visit to France showed that Beijing wants to be seen as a partner, not an adversary. This is the counterweight to US efforts to isolate China from European markets and decouple economies. Next, an official visit Xi Jinping to Serbia. The visit coincided with the 25th anniversary of the NATO attack on the Chinese embassy in Belgrade. Being in Serbia, Xi stated that China and the Chinese people have not forgotten that brutal act and never will. But behind the friendship between nations connected by blood, as the Serbian president expressed himself, there is an economic and political deal as well. China opened its vast market to Serbian agricultural business, and Serbia declared Taiwan an integral part of China, expecting Chinese counterpart support towards the Kosovo issue. Oni su naši iskreni prijatelji i kao što mi imamo jasne i jednostavne stavove po pitanju kineskog teritorijalnog integriteta i zato uvek i na svakom mestu kažemo da, Tajvan je Kina, da to piše u povelju Ujedinjenih nacija, tako i oni podržavaju teritorijalni integritet Srbije bez ikakve rezerve. I tako su uvek sa nama u svim najtežim trenucima. Ne zaboravite da su naši kineski prijatelji bili sa nama i pre 25 godina kada je ova zemlja bila rušena i bombardovana, da su zajedno sa nama platili visoku cenu, izgubili ljude samo nekoliko stotina metara odavde. Baš... But one may ask, why Serbia and Hungary? China step by step is trying to implement its Belt and Road initiative. And while some European countries refuse to be a part of this plan, Others, like Serbia and Hungary, see this as a huge economic opportunity. In fact, just between January and March 2024, Chinese investments into Central and Eastern European countries shot up by over 36% year on year, reaching $450 million. One of the strategic deals is a high-speed railway Belgrade-Budapest that Chinese companies are building, in the future to be extended to Skopje Macedonia, and then to the Greek port of Thessaloniki. It expected to be a key route for Chinese goods to Europe. Not surprisingly why these two nations, Serbia and Hungary, announced that they are elevating their relations with China to comprehensive strategic partnership. During the visits, lots of big infrastructure and investment agreements were signed. So his official visit showed how China is becoming a bigger player in the European economy and at the same time present an alternative to Western dominance on the continent at a crucial geopolitical moment.
It is clear in his trip to Europe, the Chinese president was trying to strengthen economic and diplomatic ties. But the conflict in Ukraine is still a big issue, with Russia and the West on opposite sides. As Russia's most powerful ally, China has been walking a fine line. They have denounced the Western sanctions, but they haven't provided military aid to Moscow. Beijing has been trying to position itself as a neutral peace broker in the conflict. But China's growing economic ties with Russia, as shown by the $240 billion in bilateral trade in 2023, have upset Western leaders. They are worried that China might undermine their sanctions and tilt the playing field in Russia's favor. The pressure on Xi to choose a side is getting stronger. The West wants to see some firm commitments from China that they won't be providing any lethal aid or economic lifelines to Russia to help them fight their war. But Moscow is asking Beijing to show more public support. This background makes Xi's upcoming summit with Vladimir Putin in Beijing on May 15th, 16th an important one. This will be one of the most important meetings between the two leaders yet as they try to work out a joint response to the Ukrainian crisis. We'll see double down on partnering with Putin in defiance of Western condemnation. Or will he try to keep China's economic interests abroad safe by staying out of it? The decisions made could have a big impact on the way the world works. It's important to know that both Xi and Putin seem to understand that their fates are somewhat interwinded. By teaming up, the two leaders are showing that they are on the same page when it comes to their goal of countering US dominance. With so much at stake for the global balance of power, everyone will be watching Beijing when Xi and Putin need to see what they will do together to challenge the Western liberal order. The growing alliance between China and Russia is a big change from the US-led world that has been the norm since the Cold War. We are entering a new age of multipolarity, with lots of different power centers trying to shape the global order. For China, this is the result of decades of careful planning to increase its influence and establish a sphere of power on par with the United States. Beijing sees strengthening ties with Russia as a crucial part of its vision for a multipolar world. However, Beijing is facing a tricky balancing act. While China and Russia are teaming up to challenge the US, China still has a lot of economic ties with the West. If China gets too cozy with Russia, it could face serious trade retaliation and even be pushed away from Western markets. This shows just how complicated multipolarity can be. Even as China and Russia work together to balance out US power, they are still not a unified anti-Western bloc. There are still some differences in how countries see their national interests and the threats they face. But the significance of this multipolar transition cannot be overstated. We are seeing the breakdown of the rules-based international system that has been in place since 1945, with the US as a dominant power. A new world order is emerging with power distributed among competing centers like China, Russia, the US and the European Union. For the first time in decades, the big players in global politics are going to be openly debating some of the most important questions about how the world is run. These include things like security, trade and human rights. Institutions like the United Nations, World Bank and WTO are facing a crossroads. As Xi and Putin work to make their partnership more official, they are also trying to come up with an alternative way of doing things that challenge Western liberal principles. It's not clear yet whether this multipolar world will be defined by cooperation or zero-sum rivalry between powers. But one thing is clear, how China chooses to act as the emerging superpower peer to the US will be critical in determining the road the 21st century travels. The Beijing-Moscow summit could be a turning point on this journey into a new polycentric era. That's all for now, but the story isn't over. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis on this developing situation. Like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content on this critical topic.
The world is witnessing a potential realignment of global powers and the relationship between China and Russia is at the heart of this shift. As these two giants navigate their shared interests and differing priorities, the ripple effects will be felt across the globe. Understanding the dynamics between China and Russia is essential for making sense of the rapidly changing world order. So keep watching, keep learning, and stay informed about this pivotal moment in global affairs. Thanks for watching.